This is Goran. Goran was born and raised in Sarajevo. Goran and his sweetheart Belma were just out of high school in April 1992 when war broke out and Sarajevo came under a siege of mortar shells and sniper bullets that lasted four years. Goran helped defend his city. One day on patrol, he was captured. Belma crossed no man's land and made it to friendly lines where she persuaded soldiers who knew Goran to do a prisoner exchange. But before he was released, Goran was tortured and shot. Resilient, Goran did his own rehab and went back to the front. His unit was ambushed and Goran's left ankle was shattered. His war was over. Goran and Belma finally made it out of the war zone. And on November 18, 1993, in borrowed clothes, they were married. I met them in December 93, Goran still on crutches, and got them onto the night ferry to Italy, then to Germany, where they lived and worked for three years. The war finally ended, but there was no future in Bosnia. Then they caught a break, humanitarian visas to the United States, to Seattle. They took ESL classes, Goran washed cars, Belma cleaned houses, but soon Goran became an electrician and Belma tops and perfume sales at Nordstrom. Every month they sent money back to their families in Sarajevo. With hard work, they were making a good life. In 2002, they had a son, Dennis, and four years later, Dominic. Goran loves playing soccer and football with his boys. Goran and Belma became U.S. citizens. They were the great American success story, hardworking immigrants thriving in America. But on October 19, disaster. As Goran was hooking up a power meter, there was an electrical explosion. In a flash, he was on fire. Goran is in the Harborview Burn Center. He faces painful skin graft surgeries and months of physical therapy. His doctors say he won't work for nine months. His electrical business is dead in the water. Velma doesn't make enough to pay their rent and big hospital bills are coming. Goran is widely admired, loved for his humility and generosity, including doing electrical work for a wide circle of friends and never asking for or accepting payment. Gorn and Belma will have to start over again, but with our help to get them through the next nine months, they will be able to slowly put their lives back together.